Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at BGP multipath load sharing. Uh, we're going to go over a few different scenarios because this actually works differently in different scenarios. But to start with, what we're going to do is let's take a look at R6 and show IP BGP. And you can see we're learning about the 10.0.45.0.24 network. And we're learning it from routers 4 and 5 that are both in AS45. Um, so here's the network on the graph. We're learning it both ways. Now, BGP has gone through some tiebreakers to um, prefer the route through five over the route through four. This actually comes down to in the process, um, I believe I, I entered R5's command first, so it's just the oldest uh, route. But anyway, let's say we don't want to prefer one over the other. We actually want to do load balancing. So we're going to do this in this situation, and then we're going to take a look how it's different if R4 and R5 are in two different ASs. So this command is actually quite easy. Uh, all we have to do is just go into conf t router BGP six, and it's the maximum paths command. Um, and we'll say two. And now let's take a look at BGP again. And now we see we have an M here next to this route. And if we look up in our status codes, we can see M is for multipath. So if we do a trace, Let's just say four. We can see our first hop is uh, different. We went over, we, we did both four and five. So we are doing load balancing with the maximum paths command. Now, I'm going to quickly pause the video and change it so that R4 and R5 are in two different ASs. And we'll see how the maximum path command doesn't actually work the way that it does here. All right, and we're back, and you could see that now I took off the maximum paths command because I want to show it again, but we could see now that the R4 route is being preferred, and we can see now the paths are different. So we have five for five and four for four. So we're using different AS numbers. Now, if we try to go into BGP and use that maximum path command again, Let's do two. We could see it didn't work. Um, so this is because we have two different AS numbers. We can actually tell BGP to kind of relax the requirement of having the same AS number um, and AS path length to just say, if the AS path length is the same, then let's do the multipath. So, the way we do this is actually a hidden command in Cisco IOS. So if we did BGP best path, we can see here we don't have anything regarding AS path. We have compare router ID, cost, IGP metric, med, prefix validate, whatever. But if we enter in AS path, multipath, relax, it's a valid command. And now, um, it still hasn't taken effect yet. Let's, there it goes. Just sometimes you gotta give it a second. But now we could see the M there. So let's just take a look at that again. Show run um, section router BGP. This BGP best path, AS path, multi path, relax. It's a lot of paths. That's a hidden command in Cisco IOS. So now that we've seen what it looks like with eBGP going to the same AS and going to two different ones, let's see how we could do it in IGP. So again, I'm going to pause the video really quick just to reconfigure the network. Okay, so this time the network is a little bit different, so I'm going to have to do a, some explaining. Um, 
routers four, five, and six are now in a single AS. And that AS is four, five, six. Routers four and five are paired with two, which is AS two, and it's advertising this route. So what we're gonna be concerned about is we're still gonna be on our six and ignoring how awful that circle was, what we're gonna do is take a look at how R6 is going from five and four to get to this path. Now remember our goal is multipath. Um, so if we look at the show IP BGP, we can see the route is here. We're learning it from two locations, but only one of them is preferred, and that's the route through four. Um, so let's take a look and hold on one second. I just need to get myself situated. All right. So we can't use the, uh, let me clear the screen a little bit. Um, and actually I'll just clear everything because it'll make it a little bit cleaner. Um, we can use the maximum paths command again. But we're going to have to do something a little bit different. So let's go to CompT router BGP. Now we're at 456. Let's take a look at the maximum paths. And we could see the number, which is what we've done before. There's EIBGP, which is both EI, EG, EBGP, uh, EBGP and IBGP paths as multipath, or IBGP. In our situation, we're just going to use IBGP because R6 is just connected to the two IBGP routers. So let's do IBGP, and now we can select the number of paths. It's four. And now let's do a show IPBGP um, there. And we can now see that the route through five has M. I there, so it has the I because it's an IBGP route or an IGP route, but now we have the M for multipath. So we can trace 10, 0, 12.2, and we could see 4, 5, 4 is our first path. Um, the second hop is going to fail because I'm not doing OSPF, which is relevant to this video. Um, let me hold on. I got to close my pen here because that apparently uses the same escape sequence as Cisco IOS. Okay, there we go. And I can ping it. Or I should be able to. That's a different routing issue. Not exactly important to our case. It's because I was kind of doing it on the fly and I think I screwed up the IGP underlay. Regardless, we can now do multipath and that is show run section router BGP with our maximum paths IBGP command. And looking at this, I see the issue is that I'm actually not advertising any routes to R2, so R2 wouldn't know how to get back. But anyway, the maximum path command, uh, maximum path IGP is the keyword if we want to do it with I IBGP. For EBGP, we don't need it. Um, and then there's also that hidden command if we're going to do it with two different ASs. So that's it for load balancing with BGP. Um, thanks for watching.